of this purple dye, hit with Cupid's archery, sink in apple of his eye. When his love he doth espy, when thou wakes, if she be by, beg of her for remedy. Captain of our fairy band, Helena is here at hand, oh. and the youth mistook by me, pleading for a lover's fee. Helena! Oh. Shall we their fond pageant see? <laughs> Lord, what fools these mortals be! Stand aside! The noise they make will cause Demetrius to awake. Why should you think that I should woo and scorn, scorn, and derision never come in tears? Look, when I vow, I weep, and vow so born in their nativity, all truth appears. <laughs> How could these things in me seem scorn to you, bearing the badge of faith to prove them true? You do advance your cunning more and more. When truth kills truth, oh, devilish holy fray! These vows are Hermia's. Will you give her over? Weigh oath with oath, and you will nothing weigh. I had no judgment when to her I swore. Nor none in my mind, now you give her over. Demetrius loves her, and he loves not you. Oh, Helena, goddess, nymph, perfect, divine! <laughs> What shall I compare thine eyen? Crystal is muddy. Oh, how ripe and show thy lips, those kissing cherries, tempting grow. Oh, spite! Oh, hell! I see you are bet to set against me for your merriment. If you were men, as men you are in show, you would not use a gentle lady so. To vow and swear and super praise my parts when I am sure you hate me with your hearts. You are unkind, Demetrius. Be not so, for you love Hermia. This you know, I know. And here, with all good will, with all my heart, in Hermia's love, I yield you up my part. And yours of Helena, do me bequeath, whom I do love and will till my death. Never did mockers waste more idle breath. Fly, Sander! Keep thy Hermia! I will none. If e'er I loved her, all that love is gone. My heart to her, but as guest wise sojourns, and now to Helen it is home returned. They are to remain. Helen, it is not so. This perish not the faith thou dost not know. Let to thy peril thou pay it dear. Look where thy love comes. Yonder is thy dear. <gasps> thou art not by mine eye. Lysander found. Mine ear, I thank it, brought me to thy sound. But why unkindly dost thou leave me so? Why should he stay, whom love doth press to go? What love could press Lysander from my side? The Lysander's love would not let him bide. Why seekest thou me? Could not this make thee know the hate I bear thee made me leave thee so? You speak not as you think, it cannot be. Look, she is one of this confederacy. Now I perceive they have conjoined all three to fashion this false sport in spite of me. Injurious Hermia, most ungrateful maid, have you conspired? Have you with these contrived to bait me with this foul derision? <laughs> I am amazed at your passionate words. I scorn you not. It seems that you scorn me. Have you not set Lysander, as in scorn, to follow me and praise my eyes and face? And made your other love, Demetrius, so even but now did spurn me with his foot to call me goddess, nymph, perfect, and rare, precious, celestial. I understand not what you mean by yes. this. I do persevere, yeah. counterfeit sad looks, make mouths upon me when I turn my back. Yeah. If you had any pity, manners, or grace, you would not make me such an argument. Yeah. But fare ye well, tis partly my own fault, which death or absence shall soon remedy. Stay, gentle Helena, hear my excuse, my love, my life, my soul, fair Helena. Oh, excellent. Oh, sweet, do not scorn her so. I say I love thee more than he can do. If thou say so, withdraw and prove it too. Quick, come. Lysander, where to tense all this? Hang off, thou cat, uh, thou bird. Uh, Let loose or I will shake thee for me like a serpent. Why are you grown so rude? What change is this, sweet love? Thy love out, uh, tawny tartar out. Out, loathe medicine, hated potion, hence! Uh, do you not jest? Uh, yes, sooth, and so do you. 
What, should I hurt her? Strike her? Kill her dead? Although I hate her, I'll not harm her so. What, can you do me greater harm than hate? Hate me, wherefore? I'll be what knows my love. Am not I Hermia? Are not you Lysander? I am as fair now as I was erewhile. Since night you loved me, yet since night you left me. And then you left me. Oh, the gods forbid! In earnest, shall I say? I, by my life, and never did desire to see thee more. Therefore be out of hope, out of question, out of doubt. Be certain nothing truer, tis no jest, that I do hate thee and love Helena. Oh, me. You juggler, you canker blossom, you thief of love! What, have you got by night and stolen my love's heart from him? Fine in faith, have you no modesty, no maiden shame, no touch of bashfulness? Fie, fie, you counterfeit, you puppet, you! Oh, whoa. Puppet, why so? Aye, that way goes the game. Now I perceive that she hath made compare between our statures. She hath urged her height, and with her personage, her tall personage, her height forsooth, she hath prevailed with him. Are you grown so high in his esteem, because I am so dwarfish and so low? How low am I, thou painted maypole? Speak. How low am I? I am not yet so low, but that my nails can reach into thine eyes! <laughs> Darest to try his right of thine, or mine is most in Helena. Follow, nay, I'll go with thee, cheek by jowl. <gasps> know the man by the Athena, the garment he had on, and so far blameless was my enterprise that I did anoint an Athenian's eyes. And so I am glad it did so sort, as in there, <laughs> jangling, I esteem a sport. Thou seest these lovers seek a place to fight. Hi, therefore, Robin, overcast the night, the starry welkin cover thou anon with drooping fog as black as Acheron and lead these testy rivals so astray that one comes not within another's way. 
Then crush this herb into Lysander's eyes. For liquor hath this virtuous property to take from thence all error with his might and make his eyeballs roll with wanted sight. When they next wake, all this derision shall seem a dream and fruitless vision. And back to Athens shall the lovers wend with league whose date till death shall never end. Whilst I in this affair do thee employ, I'll to my queen and beg her Indian boy. And then I will her charmed eye release from monsters view, and all things shall be peace. But notwithstanding haste, make no delay. We may affect this business yet ere day. Up and down, up and down, I will lead them up and down. I am filled and filled the town. Goblin, lead them up and down. Here comes one. Where art thou, proud Demetrius? Speak thou now. Come, villain, drawn and ready. Where art thou? I will be with thee straight. Follow me then to plainer ground. Lysander, speak again. Thou runaway, thou coward, art thou fled? Speak. Where dost thou hide thy head? In some bush? Come, Regret, come thou child. I'll whip thee with the rod. He is a father and draws a sword on thee. Yea, art thou there? Follow my voice. We'll try no manhood here. <laughs> Lighter healed than I. I followed fast and faster he did fly. That's fallen in my and dark and an even way. And here will rest me. Come thou gentle day. If verbal but once show me thy gray light, I'll find Demetrius. And revenge this spite. Ho, 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 coward! <laughs> Why comest thou not? Then thou mockest me. Thou shalt buy this, dear, if ever I thy face by daylight see. Now, go thy way. Fateness constraineth me to measure out my length on this cold bed. By day's approach, look to be visited. A oh, weary night. Oh, long and tedious night, abate thy hour, shine comfort from the east that I may back to Athens by daylight, from these that my poor company detest, that sleep, that sometimes shuts up sorrow's eye, heal me a while from mine own company. Yet but three, come one more, two of both kinds makes up four. <laughs> Never so weary. Ever so in woe, my legs can keep no pace with my desires. Here will I rest me until the break of day. I've been shield by Sander if they mean affray. On the ground, sleep sound. I'll apply to your eye. Gentle lover, remedy. When thou wakest, thou takest true delight in the sight of thy former lady's eye. And the country proverb know that every man shall have his own. In your waking shall be shown. Jack shall have Jill, nor shall go ill. The man shall have his mare again, and all shall be well. <laughs>